Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the gradient or wind intercept of a line given its equation in the form y equals mx plus c. So we want to determine the gradient of the lines with these different equations. And let's just remind ourselves what gradient and wind intercept is. If I had a sketch and I had a line like this, the y intercept is where it cuts the y axis. So that's the y intercept. And the gradient is how steep the line is. And more specifically, it means each time the x value goes up by 1, the gradient tells us how far up the line goes or how far down the line goes if it's going downhill. So this would be plus m, where m is the gradient. So for example, if for each time you went across by 1, you went 3 up, then the gradient m would be 3. And we can write the equation of a straight line in this form. So y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the line and c is the y-intercept of the line. And x and y are variables. That allows us to have different points on the line. So as we choose different points, the x and y changes, but the gradient of the line always remains the same and the y-intercept still remains the same. So let's just say we had y equals, I don't know, 4x plus 2. Then if we compare this to this key equation here, the number in front of the x, known as the coefficient of x, is the gradient. So we can see the gradient here is 4. And the number on its own, which doesn't have an x, that's otherwise known as a constant term, when you don't have a variable on it, we can see is the 2. So the y-intercept is 2. So let's apply this principle to these questions here. y equals mx plus c. The number in front of the x term is the gradient. So we can see the gradient is equal to 3 here, the number in front of the x. What about here? Well, we don't have a number in front of the x, but you can imagine it as 1 because if you just have x, that just means the same as 1 lot of x. And I know we don't have any y intercept, but you could, if you wanted to, put plus 0 on this, because 1x plus 0 is the same as 1x, which is the same as x. So we can see here the gradient is 1. So the gradient here is 1, the number in front of x. And what about here? What's the number in front of x? Well, it's the minus 2. So the gradient here is minus 2. What about these? We want the y-intercept. So remember the y-intercept is the number which doesn't have an x on it. So in this particular case, the y-intercept is this minus 1. Make sure you include the sign in front of it. So if it's plus 1, then the y-intercept is plus 1. If it's 4x minus 1, the y-intercept is minus 1. What about this one? Well, notice we don't have an x here. But we could write this if we wanted to as y equals 0x plus 5. Because if you have 0 lots of x, 0 times x is just 0, and that would just simplify to y equals 5. So we can see the gradient would be 0. That means the line doesn't go up at all, it would be horizontal. And the y-intercept is 5. So here, the y-intercept is 5. And finally, this one, y equals 3x. Now, this time, there's no number on the end. It's y equals 3x but there's nothing on the end, but we could write it as y equals 3x plus 0, because plus 0 doesn't have any effect, that would just be y equals 3x. So in this case, the y intercept would be 0. So the y intercept there would be 0, because we're not adding any number on the end of that 3x. And that is it.